The driver accused in the deaths of seven motorcyclists in New Hampshire under arrest tonight and will be back in court tomorrow facing serious charges. The 23-year-old crashed his pickup truck into the group near the White Mountains. The suspect has a lengthy record behind the wheel, including drunk driving. Julie McDonald joins us now. Julie, the victims were part of a riding group for Marines. That's right, David. Three of those seven were from the South Shore. Tonight, there's an incredible outpouring of donations and support from their neighbors in the South Shore, fellow veterans, even strangers. This is far worse than anything I ever experienced in my life. The carnage worse than combat. Surviving members of the Jarheads Motorcycle Club struggle to put into words the caliber of those taken this weekend. Some of the finest people I've ever met in my life. The tight knit veterans group now missing seven members, including Ed and Joanne Corr of Lakeville and retired Plymouth police officer Mike Ferrazzi. A truck collided with the group Friday along Route 2 in Randolph, New Hampshire. Matter that truck driver stood in Springfield Court Monday charged as a fugitive from justice. He was taken by New Hampshire troopers and is expected to face seven counts of negligent homicide on Tuesday. He's only 23 years old. He's a high school graduate. He's on a soccer team. He seems like a good guy. No comment from Vladimir Zukovsky's public defender on his driving record. Just weeks ago, May 11th, the West Springfield man was charged with operating under the influence of alcohol or drugs in Connecticut. There was another previous OUI in 2013. His license was temporarily suspended and he was involved in another accident in 2012. As Zukovsky was driving for Westfield Transport at the time of the crash, he could face additional charges here in Massachusetts after state troopers found wax packets suspected to be heroin in his home. Paula? Thanks, Julie.